Hey guys, welcome to Science Friday. I am so glad that you are here to join me for this very fun experiment. Today we are going to be conducting the bouncy egg experiment. And just so you know up front that this experiment does take 48 hours or how many days? You have to figure that one out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to begin the experiment and then I'm going to show you my results at the end. But I would love to see your results as your experiment um, is finished and at the conclusion of it. So just send me those pictures on Remind or a video or Facebook, however you want to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. What you need for this experiment, you need one egg. You need a glass jar or a glass. Um, I did not have a glass jar with a lid, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a glass and I'm just going to cover it with foil or um, plastic wrap when we're finished. And then you need some white vinegar. So those are the only three items that you need to conduct this experiment. The first thing you're going to do is very carefully, you're going to place this white egg inside the glass like so. As you're putting it in there, pay special attention. We kind of know what an egg feels like, right? We know we have to be very gentle with it. We know it's hard on the outside, but it can easily be broken and cracked. So just make sure you kind of feel the texture of the outside of the egg. And here's another question. What do you think would happen if I dropped this egg right now? We all kind of know. It would just go splat, right? So keep that in mind as we go through this experiment. So once you have your glass, and your egg, and the egg is inside the glass, you're going to take your white vinegar and you're going to pour it just enough vinegar to where it kind of covers the egg and it leaves a little room, just like that. Now, guess what? You're done for the day. And like I said, you're going to have to let cover this and you're going to have to let it sit for about 48 hours or how many days is that, which I'm going to let you convert the, that measurement, okay? You're going to let it sit. And if you notice right now, my egg already has bubbles all over it. And in our last experiment, we learned that vinegar, like the lemon juice, is an acid. So keeping that in mind, what do you think the vinegar is doing to the shell of the egg? Okay, we're going to set that aside. We're going to pause for just a second and I'm going to show you my end result. Okay, we're back. Here is my end result. After 48 hours or what's the conversion, do you see a difference? Just by looking at it, before I even reach in and touch it, here is my egg after 48 hours. Here's my egg when I started. The most noticeable thing is the color. That is super easy to tell that when we started it, our egg was white and now my egg's yellow. So what we're going to do is I have my end result. I have my glass with my egg in it, but I also went ahead and got a clear bowl. You can also use a plate for this, but you need something to kind of hold the egg for the second part of this experiment. So I have my bowl right here. Stick it right there for the moment. I'm going to, and I also have a towel, because that way I don't drip everywhere. I'm going to reach in very carefully and grab my egg on out of my glass. Okay, looking at my egg, we notice it's yellow. But remember, with my egg beforehand, what would happen if I pushed on it? I'd crack it, right? Watch this. There's no shell left. I can smush my egg. Now keep in mind, I'm smushing it very gently because it probably would still explode if I pushed on it too hard. But you can see, oh, look, it didn't break. There you go. What happened? What did that vinegar or that acid do to my egg? What did it dissolve? What did it leave behind? Those are questions I want you to think about. I also want you to think about, is there any other type of liquid we could have used besides the vinegar to get the same effect? Another fun thing that you could do with this is if you add a couple drops of food coloring, 
to your original egg, to your original mixture, your egg might just change color. So it might not be yellow when it's like this 48 hours later. It might be a different color. All right, for the second fun part of our experiment, I'm going to see just how pliable, let's use that word, my egg is. Will it survive a drop now? Okay. We know, we know original egg probably wouldn't survive a drop. Not even very far. It would get a crack in the shell. Well, my new egg has no shell. So what I'm going to do is in my bowl here, I'm going to test different heights of which I can drop my egg. I would, if I was you, start at like maybe an inch, two inches, and just keep on going up and see what happens. So we're going to start. I did this in a bowl just because I'm in the bedroom and I don't want it splattering all over the place just in case it does happen to break. Um, but you, if you did this outside, could use a plate. So let's see if we can get a good view of this. So I'm going to do about one inch. You noticed it didn't break. It bounced, right? Let's raise it up a little bit, do two inches. Still didn't break and it bounced a little bit higher. Would that have happened with my original egg? Probably not. Like I said, I'd have a crack going through it and I'd probably have the insides oozing out a little bit. Let's go a little bit higher. Let's go to the top of my bowl now. Oh my word. That was about three inches. Bounced like a ball, still not broken. So we did a little higher. Pretty cool, huh? My challenge is to you after 48 hours, or what's the conversion, I want you to see just how high you can get dropping this egg without it, without it breaking. And go ahead and send me that information too. It'll be fun if we all share. Now this is about a foot. And then we'll go. And I think my egg bit the dust and it's all over my glasses. So let's know that mine at one foot, or how many inches is that, didn't quite survive the fall. So there's your challenge. See what happens in 48 hours. Send me pictures. Send me videos. Have fun. I'll see you later. Bye.